Over the last few days, there have been a series of media disclosures of classified U.S. documents relating to the collection of intelligence by U.S. agencies and questions about the role of GCHQ. The U.S. administration has begun a review into the circumstances of these leaks in conjunction with the Justice Department and the U.S. intelligence community. President Obama has been clear that U.S. work in this area is fully overseen and authorized by Congress and relevant judicial bodies, and that his administration is committed to respecting the civil liberties and privacy of its citizens. To intercept the content of any individual's communications in the UK requires a warrant signed personally by me, the Home Secretary, or another Secretary of State. This is no casual process. Every decision is based on extensive legal and policy advice. Warrants are legally required to be necessary, proportionate, and carefully targeted, and we judge them on that basis. Considerations of privacy are also at the forefront of our minds, as I believe they will have been in the minds of our predecessors. We take great care to balance individual privacy with our duty to safeguard the public and the UK's national security. Since the 1940s, GCHQ and its American equivalents, now the National Security Agency, have had a relationship that is unique in the world. This relationship has been and remains essential to the security of both nations. It has stopped many terrorist and espionage plots against this country, and it has saved many lives. It has been suggested that GCHQ uses our partnership with the United States to get around UK law, obtaining information that they cannot legally obtain in the United Kingdom. I wish to be absolutely clear that this accusation is baseless. Any data obtained by us from the United States involving UK nationals is subject to proper UK statutory controls and safeguards, including the relevant sections of the Intelligence Services Act, the Human Rights Act, and the Regulation of Investigatory Powers Act. Our intelligence sharing work with the United States is subject to ministerial and independent oversight and to scrutiny by the Intelligence and Security Committee. Our agencies practice and uphold UK law at all times, even when dealing with information from outside the United Kingdom. We should never forget that threats are launched at us secretly, new weapon systems and tactics are developed secretly, and countries or terrorist groups that plan attacks or operations against us do so in secrecy. So the methods we use to combat these threats must be secret, just as they must always be lawful. Mr. Speaker, if the citizens of this country could see the time and care taken in making these decisions, the carefully targeted nature of all our interventions, and the strict controls in place to ensure that the law and our democratic values are upheld, and if they could witness, as I do, the integrity and professionalism of the men and women of our intelligence agencies, who are among the very finest public servants our nation has, then I believe they would be reassured by how we go about this essential work.